Hey guys, Constance here. Welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So I mentioned in my last video that I um, have acquired a few more pottery mugs. Back around the beginning of the year, it might have been January, somewhere around there, I kind of did a sit down video and I shared my pottery coffee mug collection. And in my video yesterday, I mentioned that I've got a few more <laughs> mugs and so I was going to share my latest editions um, with all of you because I've had some comments on some of them um, and so I'm going to share all of my mugs that I have acquired this year now some of them I purchased some of them were gifts um, but there's a lot of mugs um, so let me take a quick sip of my coffee and we'll get started so the first mug I want to share with you is this one. This came from the Homesteaders of America conference. They were selling them at the, um, the Merck tent that they had there. Um, it's just a nice big mug, beautiful blue color with, its, with white on the top, kind of a creamy white color. Just very pretty mug. and. Um, I bought this the, the first morning there because I wanted to make sure I got one and I bought it and I went and I put it in my in the car because I drove Mr. Smith's car up there to the conference because it's better on gas than my truck is um, and put it up that way I would get a mug. They had them in a couple different colors. Um, I think it was blue, red, and brown or like earth tones. Um, but I liked the blue one because blue is one of my favorite colors um, And so this is a new addition and I actually think that I just saw that they are selling uh, Mugs like this on their website now. So if you are interested in something like this, you can check that out So the next mugs there's four they are all by the same artist and I actually have another mug that is made by her uh, her Let's see, her Instagram is Flipping Dirt and Flowers, uh, F L O U R S. And that is how I actually, I think I think that's how I found her uh, to begin with. But she makes all sorts of really cute, really fun designs. And what is kind of distinctive about her mugs is they have a big, oversized handle. And this is actually one of the smaller ones. Um, they're just really cute, really adorable mugs. And this one in particular is an autumn theme. It's got pumpkins and these pretty kind of whimsical blue flowers. And I just thought these this was adorable. And she even does kind of a little design at the bottom of the handle there. You can see the bottom. She has her little hen logo. So that's the first one I have from her. Then I have this winter theme mug. Uh, this has, now this has kind of a, an even larger handle. You can really just kind of get your hand in there. It's a fun mug. So this one you can see is a winter theme and it has uh, snowflakes etched into it and it's just kind of a white speckled and natural clay design. So the next one is a blue mug and this one has kind of a medium sized uh, handle as far as her handles go. Um, it's got that little detail at the bottom of the handle like the others do and then the pattern on it is feathers. All different colored feathers. Just another fun design. Natural speckled clay on the inside. There we go. And then I have one more, and this one was just too cute. I saw this and said something about how adorable it was, and a friend of mine purchased it for me and, and gave it to me. But it has kind of a red, just sort of almost a geometric pattern on there but if you look very carefully it has eggs at the bottom and on the other side it has a cute little chicken look at that isn't that adorable 
and again it has the little um, detail at the bottom of the handle and just another really cute mug from the same artist. All right, now this mug is actually from my sister-in-law. This mug was made at a pottery up in East Tennessee um, called Chimney Top Pottery, if I remember correctly. Uh, the, the significance of that pottery, or of Chimney Top, is that is where my in-laws were from. That's where Mr. Smith's family is all from is the Oak Glen, Fall Branch, uh, Chimney Top Mountain kind of area. And so uh, my sister-in-law saw this pottery and stopped in and she uh, picked up some mugs and Mr. Smith brought these home the last time uh, he went up there with a the family. And this one has just kind of a, a really pretty blue on blue swirled design and kind of reminds me a little bit of the Northern Lights. Just a, a very simple, just kind of a pretty mug. So now this mug here, I got this when I went down on my trip for the Alabama Peanut Tour in Dothan Enterprise, that area of Alabama, way down south as opposed to where I am up here in Northern Alabama. And on the way back, my friend and I stopped in to this farm market that she was telling me about because she used to live in that area. So we stopped in and I saw this adorable little mug. They had a few mugs in different kind of cheerful colors. And I just thought this kind of coral color was really cute. It had a little foot of sorts on the bottom of this mug, but I thought it was really cute. I didn't have a mug quite like this and so it came home with me. Now this mug, I've had many, many comments um, when I have shared this mug. You could see it in photos on Instagram and things like that. I've had a lot of comments about this mug. Um, unfortunately, I could not tell you where this mug came from. Um, because I bought it at one of my favorite antique stores here in our area. Uh, I bought this in the giant three-story one that I have, I've talked about it, but I haven't shared it with you guys yet, which reminds me, I should maybe see about doing that. I have to ask the owners if, if they're okay with me filming there. But the last time I was in there, I saw this mug and I think I paid like maybe, I don't know, it was just a couple bucks but the tag on it said that it was a Dutch mug. Now, whether it's Dutch or not, I don't know, but I just, I loved the color of this mug. I loved the, just the kind of primitive style and just that really old fashioned look. And amazingly, I think this is actually the only thing that I walked out of the antique store with that day, which is saying something because, uh, when you go to an antique store that big, <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to walk out empty-handed. So yes, I've had a lot of comments about this mug. All right, so now the next series of mugs all came from the same artist. All right, so this is the first one that I got from her. I, be I believe it's the first one that I ordered. I loved this mug. So first of all, it's completely covered in sunflowers, which is one of my favorites, as I'm sure many of you know. But I liked the shape of it. The shape of it was a little bit different. And I mean, even the bottom is covered in sunflowers. It's absolutely adorable. And so I ordered this one, and this one came from an Etsy shop. So I got this mug, fell in love with it, ordered another mug that she had available uh, this one right here again it's a floral pattern this one's a little bit bigger and a, in a different style kind of like your classic uh, vertical walled mug but look what's on the other side I mean come on it's so so cute farm life and there's even a chicken on the bottom of it 
And then I ordered one more from her that she had listed, and that was this one. It's got a big whimsical flower on this side, and on the other side, it had this beautiful monarch butterfly. I just loved it, and even the bottom, of course, is decorated. And I just, I loved, loved, loved these mugs that I got from her. Now, this mug in particular, though, the more I looked at it, the more I thought, you know what? My logo for my website, my channel, is a hen with a spoon. And as I looked at this mug, I thought, I wonder if she could do a custom mug for me and just do a rendition, not a, a perfect duplicate of my logo, but just kind of her rendition of my logo, a you know, kind of cartoon drawn hen with a spoon in its foot. And so I reached out to her and asked her about doing that. And sure enough, you know, she, she looked at my logo, I sent her some photos, she made out some drawings for me, sent them back, and I said, that is perfect. I gave her a few other things that I wanted on the mug. And in just a matter of a few weeks, because of course it does take time to make pottery, um, you have to make it, fire it, dry it, you know, all the things, I got this mug. So of course we've got the hen with her spoon, I had her put some sunflowers in there because you know I love sunflowers. Then I also asked her to kind of do a rendition of another flower that people in the south wouldn't be familiar with, but when I lived in Alaska, um, and really it's in a lot of northern climates, is something called fireweed. And it is just this beautiful kind of magenta pink flower that grows wild up there and I actually used to make um, fireweed jelly out of it. So she put some a rendition of fireweed on the bottom of it. So we have my logo, you know the hen and spoon, we got the sunflowers, we've got the fireweed and then of course we have on the other side a good life farm and I just I loved it. This So this mug has been photographed many times. It is um, the cover art for my Facebook page and things like that and I loved it. And I got so many comments about this mug, people asking if I was going to be selling these like I had sold some that were done by another artist in the past. But this was just a custom mug for me. This is not something that I was going to do in bulk because the lady who did this, you know, she does pottery as kind of a side thing. She's a homeschool mom, she's a homesteader, and so doing pottery full time is just not, it's not in the cards. And so selling these mugs was never going to be an option. I just wanted to have kind of a fun, whimsical version of my logo with the name, you know, A Good Life Farm. But that said, you'll notice I have another one. Because I reached out to her and I asked if I could order just a few more, um, similar to the original one, but I asked her to make each one a little bit different. And I had ordered a couple for me, I ordered a couple as gifts, and it just so happens that I have one extra. So when you look at the mugs, you'll see here is the original one, here is my new one, and here is my extra one. They all have certain things in common. They all have sunflowers on them somewhere. They all have the name A Good Life Farm on there and then they have some fireweed somewhere on there and of course they also have my logo on there but they're all a little different different arrangements different colors maybe they're all a little different and the bottoms are all different as well you can kind of see there so this one right here but like i said i don't have the ability to sell these because um, I, this is not something that I can order um, in bulk, but 
like I said, I have one extra mug, and so I am going to do a simple little giveaway for uh, someone who would maybe like to have one of these uh, custom mugs like I have. Um, I'm going to offer up this mug. All you've got to do to enter is um, just leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to enter and let me know what your favorite drink is um, in the winter time. So one winner will get this mug and this giveaway is open to anybody. It doesn't matter where you live. If you live in Canada, if you live overseas, anybody can enter because you know I will be shipping this myself and I will, I'm sure, throw in a few extra goodies as well um, to the winner when they are selected. So if you have been wanting to have a coffee mug like mine, just leave an entry down below. All right, so that is part two of my pottery coffee mug collection. Uh, again, if you would like to see the rest of my coffee mugs, which are much more varied than these, I will put a link to uh, the other video down below or up in a card if you are watching this on YouTube. So thanks for hanging out with me here again at A Good Life Farm. My name is Constance and I will talk to you all next time.